So guys in this video we are going to be learning how to resize hundreds of images in just few seconds using javascript so you can see here i have some images that i'm going to be using in this video so all these images if you look at the size of these images they are 124 by 124 pixels so ideally if you have to resize these images let's say to 300 by 300 pixels probably you will be using some online tool like canva or any other online tool to resize these images one by one which will be taking a lot of time to do and i just have five images here but let's say you have a folder of images which is like 100 images if you have to go and do it one by one probably it will take a long time to do that so i'm going to teach you how to resize these images in few seconds using javascript so i have this folder here that is resize images and inside this folder there are two folders one is where i have the original images and another folder is is empty and we are going to save all the resized images here once we have them and we are going to be using javascript to do all this i have a visual studio code open here so i'll just go and open this folder in my visual studio code so i just opened this folder in visual studio code you can see all the images are here so i already have a terminal open here where i'm going to run a command in pm in it and i'm just going to press enter 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 and this is going to initialize this folder with this package dot json file and we'll be able to use a javascript any javascript files inside this folder now so i'm going to create a, another file that is server dot mjs now i'm going to make some changes to this package dot json file uh, the first change we are going to do is we are going to put some start script here which will say nodemon server.mjs and we are also going to put some dependencies here which i'm just going to go and copy from my reference project so basically we are going to need two dependencies in this project so i'll copy all the dependencies here so we are using two dependencies one is nodemon and one is sharp if you don't know about nodemon you can leave it in the comments i'll make a separate video on why we are using nodemon so basically we'll be using nodemon to run this uh, whatever javascript we'll be writing in this server.mjs file and the sharp is the library that we are going to use to resize all this images so we have all the packages that we need here we have mentioned here in package dot json so i'm going to clear my terminal and run another command that is npm install so basically whenever we run npm install it will install all the dependencies that we have mentioned here into this folder and we'll be able to start writing some code using this dependencies so i'll just hit enter so now we have all the dependencies that we need in this application will go to server.mjs and to test everything is working fine i'm just going to console log hello world save it and then i'm just going to start this and run npm start we can see the hello world console log here so it means everything is working fine so if i make some changes here in the console log i just have to do control s to save it and we can see the new console log here so basically what nodemon does is it just keeps the server.js running so whenever we make some changes here we are able to immediately see we don't have to write npm start again and again so that's why we are using nodemon in this project so now we will try and resize all these images using a sharp library so i'm going to import sharp from sharp and basically what we have to do to resize these images is first we have to read all these images using sharp library so i'm going to put a path to all these images so basically if i put a path to this first image that is 1.png so it's basically under the images folder and we have 1.png and then there is a function that i'm i can use that is resize function the original size of the image is 102 by 1024 pixels but i'm going to resize it to 300 by 300 pixels so basically i'm reducing the size of the image and i'm going to use another function that is to file to save this resized image into the folder that we have here is resized images so i'm going to basically put the path to this resized images which is basically resized images 
slash so the new image is again going to be one dot png so now all i have to do is i just have to save this file by hitting Control s and here you can see that we have a new image that is one dot png so now just to confirm that this image is smaller than this image which is 300 by 300 pixels i'll just open my folder again in the images you can see the dimensions are 1024 by 1024 pixels and if i open my resized image so it's the same image but it's 300 by 300 pixels so everything is working fine it has resized our image so now i want to resize all these images that we have here 2.png 3.png 4.png basically what i'll do is i'll create an array which is is an array of numbers one two three four five it's an array of these file names because we have file names as one two three four five i'm going to loop over this array and put this logic inside this array and now we are going to make this one dot png as a dynamic name that is item.png so basically i need to change the quotes here so i'm going to be using the quotes and now i should be able to replace this one dot png with the variable that is item dot png and same thing i can do here as well so i just have to change the quotes around my path name and i can rename this image as item dot png so basically this command is going to be running five times uh, for one dot png two dot png three dot png and it's going to resize all the images at once when we run this i'm just going to run this by hitting ctrl and you can see all the images we have here so we have resized five images with this two lines of code in less than a second now let's go and check this resized images folder we have this folder so in the images all the images are 1024 by 1024 and if i open my resized images they are all 300 by 300 pixels i have only done five images but if you have a folder of let's say 100 images it will take the same amount of time to do 100 images as well you can just hit Control s and it will do all the 100 images in just less than a second so this is a very quick way to resize all the images and you don't have to use any online tools to do that it's completely free and good thing is it, it's just taking a lot less time if you if you will be using canva or any online tool to resize all these images which will probably take hours if you have hundreds of images and with this two lines of code you will be able to do this in seconds so if you found this video helpful uh, subscribe to the channel leave a comment on the video thanks for watching see you next time